The one who boasts should boast in this. God says that he understands me and that he knows me. It's from that knowledge of God that everything else flows. The whole business of the Christian gospel is to bring us to God. To bring us to God. The primary question that comes in then is, what kind of God is there? Who is he? What is his character? God calls us to so gaze on him, to see him for who he is, to know him, to walk in true intimate fellowship with him, that out of knowing him, we desire for our life to accurately reflect him. There's no doubt in my mind that uh, what a man thinks of God clearly indicates everything about his life of any consequence whatsoever. All the decisions that we make, that we see other people making, the root issue there uh, is what that person believes or doesn't believe about God, who they think He is. The great work of our lives ought to be to get to know this God and to get to know Him as He's revealed Himself to us on the pages of the Bible. You think of all the people we think are interesting and fascinating. Is not God the most interesting being, most captivating, most attractive, most impressive, most beneficial, and of such infinite variety, ageless, that you could never possibly find His company mundane and monotonous? The emphasis here is hunger for God. See, when we talk about attributes, we're not just talking about this or that, omniscience, righteousness, holiness. No, it's all these things that He is. The fullness of all perfection. It is a person that we're aiming for. He is the goal. And spiritual communion, fellowship, intimacy with Him is the path. We have a passion for Him. And you might almost say, an obsession with God. That's the Christian. When he is thinking of God biblically, that's what it does to us. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside you. Those who are far from you will perish. But as for me, but as for me, the nearness of God is my good.